it's a constant challenge to try to get to get people to, to do this work. These machines are becoming more and more necessary. That's kind of what American Ag is about, is, is uh, keep, keeping, keeping abreast and using these things to, to benefit us. A shift the industry will have to make, as less people are opting for a job in the fields, leaving behind an aging workforce. Some work that we did several years ago suggests that the average age of a field worker is roughly 50 to 55 years of, old, uh, years of age. And so the, the dynamic is real for the local area growers here. It's an aging workforce and fewer people are getting more involved in field work. Forcing growers in Yuma County and across the nation to face the harsh reality. A retiring population of field workers leaving vacant jobs. To fill the void, the industry is turning to machines, combining technology with nature. I think as the labor force gets older and we have less people, we're going to be forced to mechanize. There's just no other way around it. But with advancing technology comes an even stronger need for younger, more tech-savvy field workers. Because of the mechanization and what's coming forward, you know, we've tried to get the interest of younger kids coming this way. Except industry experts say there is little interest from the youth. This field work is typically pictured to be fully manual and backbreaking. We don't see as many young people going back into the field. I believe their parents did it for a career because they didn't have any other opportunities. The youth isn't like us. They're very lazy. They like what is easy. If they come one day, they just don't show up the next. Younger applicants that do give field work a chance aren't in it for the long haul like those that came before them. Instead, there's a trend to take on the job as a temporary way to make money that could help field workers get closer to a greater dream. Like Karen Gonzalez, who is learning social work at Arizona Western College. I don't want to uh, stay here forever. I'm just coming for the days because I'm studying. It's easy money, so, so I can um, have to, so I can buy my books from college. This limited time dedicated to the work by younger employees strains growers who face a high turnover. But those that stuck with it and adapted to new technological advancements say the payoff is worth it. Jose Gasca operates a thinner, a computerized machine that targets plants, sprays a chemical, and creates desired space between crops. A job when done by hand looks like this. It's better now, we don't have to be out in the sun. Uh, as long as you know a little bit about computers, machinery, how to handle machinery, how to operate, anybody can do it. The thinner is just one example of a piece of technology replacing crews of up to 40 laborers and saving time. With the traditional manual labor, it would take about an hour to complete this row. But using machines like this thinner cuts down that work to a matter of minutes. The investment does save time, but industry leaders say it isn't ideal. Obviously, cutting hand labor, you, you save costs. But I personally believe by saving costs, you're going to get less of a quality. Nonetheless, experts are confident new technology will drive new interests to a career in agriculture. I think people, when they look at harvest and you know field work, they look at the Hispanic side of it, which is you know the culture that take, took, took upon the hand labor and whatnot. But I do feel that with the new mechanization, we're going to see a change in the labor force for sure. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Elsa Gamonian.